Hi and welcome to Monthly Messages from Your Angels and Your Higher Self with me Julie Poole. And if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and click that little bell so that you don't miss anything. Now let's dive right in. Hello Pisces and happy birthday to those of you who've got birthdays at the end of February. So the energy that we have for February, this is the overall energy now for the whole month, is the Eight of Wands reversed. So we're going to talk about this a little bit and then we're going to get into the detail of the month as it goes through. But this is the overall energy. I'm going to turn it around the right way for you to be able to have a look at. The Eight of Wands is a very positive card about lots of hard work beginning to pay off. It's beginning to come through. It's beginning to start to have that fruition, all right? The seeds you've planted through the last year are starting to now come forward. Now, the energy is reversed, so let's have a look at what this means for you. Now, this is a general read, so it's going to mean different things for different people. So I want you to just feel it, which bits you resonate with, and just ignore the bits that don't, all right? So the eight. Now, eights are generally cards of abundance and flow. So the work that you've put in, it's coming back and it's flowing. Now, for many of you, because the card is upside down, it means that you've put the work in, but nothing's coming back or very little is coming back. For others of you, you're feeling disheartened. Um, and I want to say to you, do not give up. All of you, whether you feel it's not coming in or whatever's going on, don't give up because the eight is saying, keep forging ahead. All right, sometimes we work and work and work and work and work and we're not seeing the rewards and we think I'm wasting my time. And that is just before it's about to flip. And that's what's going on here. This is why you're, it's upside down. You're feeling, I'm not seeing anything. Why aren't I seeing anything? It's coming. It is coming. It's just not quite there yet. And we'll have a look for next month in March. But my feeling is it's not going to start really coming until we get into April and the spring. But do not give up. You're nearly there. Or keep going. All right. That's the energy overall for the month. So let's get into the detail. Now we've got the two of wands. We've got the queen of swords reversed. And we've got the Knight of Pentacles also reversed. I've turned them around the right way so that we can talk about them in a little more detail. Let's start with this one, the Two of Wands. All right. Crossroads. Coming to two paths. Which way do I go? Which path do I follow? Look at what's ahead. Look at what's ahead. All right. It's beautiful. Golden sun is a beautiful horizon. Whichever path you take there. There's a beautiful future. So I want you to let go of any panic. I want you to let go of, oh, I don't know which way to go. And just trust, just trust. Sometimes we go the wrong way, but you know what? Life will lead us back to the right way if we're going wrong. If we listen to our instincts and our intuition, it'll lead us back. But actually, you see, I don't believe there are any wrong turns because those so-called wrong turns, we are learning things on that wrong path. And that helps us when we get back onto the right path. We're bringing more to it because we've expanded. So don't worry about which path to take. That one was the right way up. And this is why I'm saying don't worry. Whichever way it goes, it's going to be okay. Now, let's look at these two that were reversed. So let's see why they're reversed. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. Now, Knights are about action and taking action and um, really putting some changes into place. Now, Pentacles is money and our granting, our security. Now, we're not making those changes. We're not looking at the action. Why not? Let's have a look at the Queen a minute. So the Queen of Wands. Wands is our work, uh, our career, our business, self-employment, also work at home and often work in a relationship because all relationships need work too, okay? So she's upside down too. So we're asking why. All right. So what I'm getting is for some of you, we are not 
assertive enough, all right? Queens, right? Look at the queen. She doesn't take any nonsense. The queen knows who she is and where she's going and what she wants. And for many of you, I feel the reason she's upside down is that you're not quite confident enough in yourself to start taking that action because you feel that it might fall flat, all right? Now, that action is about moving forward on that path. So what's happening is you're a little bit hesitant. You're hanging back a little. Now, we don't want that. You know, Pisces are the strongest spiritual sign of them all. So trust the instinct. Trust your intuition. Tap into that instinct. And then you'll kind of start moving forward. And as I said, with this two of wands, it doesn't really matter which way you go. That's what I'm being told from your higher self just make some move forward and then you'll know and you'll be able to correct it if it is the wrong way, all right? But standing still doing nothing is going to get you absolutely nowhere. We want to take some action and we want to use the assertiveness of the queen, the power of the queen to say, yep, yeah, I'm going to start shifting this, moving forward. Now, it could be in any area of your life, guys. This is a general read. If I was doing a specific read for you, I'd be able to be much more clear about where. So just feel it for yourself where it fits. Now, let's look at the other three cards. And these are all um, the right way up. So what we've got, lovely. We've got the Ten of Cups is what we're going to come to if we do this work. So let's look at the work we've got to do. So we've got the Nine of Swords. This is a card of being ill, being tired, being run down, being exhausted, doing too much. And a lot of this, I feel, is because you've been doing that worrying, panicking about which way to go, which way to go, I don't know. It's keeping you awake at night. It's stressing you out. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. So acknowledge that right now many of you are not feeling well. You're tired. You're drained. You're a bit fed up. I know it's birthday season, but, you know, for, um, for, for some of you that have not got birthdays until March, um, your year begins on your birthday. All right. And that's the first month, regardless of what month it is. That's your first month. So that's the beginning of the next cycle. That's the beginning of the next year. So for many of you, Pisces, you're in your your 11th, 12th month. You're coming to the end of the year. And this is what I feel it is about this um uh, this nine for you is that you're coming to the end of that cycle um, and you're feeling a little bit tired and worn out from the last year. I know 2017 was very challenging for many of us um, and you're coming to the end of that. So hang on in there because it's nearly done. As you hit your birthday, whether it's February or into March, this is where things start to shift. So February is about preparing for that shift because then we've got the ace. We've got the ace is a new beginnings, all right, fresh start. So this ace is going to kick in um, around your birthday if it's in February. If it's not until March, it won't kick in until then, all right? But we've got a new beginning coming in. Pentacles is money and coins and security and stability. So things feeling a fresher, stronger, um, almost feels like a rebirth, almost feels like a regeneration. And it, it's lovely. It feels good because then you're coming into this Ten of Cups. This is fabulous. This is kind of where you're going to be as your birthday hits. The Ten of Cups tends a completion. You've come to the end. You, you, you've got everything you've been working for. So this is a card we're looking at. Um, home and security and family and feeling feeling good, feeling complete. This is a lovely end to the month. This is lovely. It's great. Let's have a look what your angels want to add. So the Doreen Virtue card, we've got Mystique. Keep charging forward and don't take no for an answer. All right now I'm feeling that that no is coming from inside you. You know, we have our fears and insecurities. We have our doubts, don't we? And that doubt can come up and go, oh, no, just leave things as they are. It's safer. Mm, it might be safer, but it's not better for you. All right, limits you. So we want to keep forging forward. This is what the card is saying. Keep charging forward. Don't take no for an answer. So when that little voice goes, no, 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 don't, 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 say, shut up. 
we're go we're doing this we're going forward we're gonna shift forward into this new energy now the oracle of the angels is saying this is going to bring you many blessings so this is where you have to trust that this is the right thing for you all right now when we're in that trust thing it gets a bit hairy and a bit scary doesn't it because there's no actual evidence this is what trust and faith is you can't see it but there's an inner knowing there's an inner knowing that what I'm doing here is right, what I'm thinking about and feeling about and making those changes uh, as we're coming into that birthday season, we're coming to the end of one cycle, we're starting a new cycle, it's going to bring so many blessings. I'm feeling for you guys, Pisces, you know, 2018 is going to be your best year, mm -mm -mm, I'm getting for about nine years. So this is going to be great. So we're shifting into a lovely space that's bringing loads of blessings. I hope that this has helped to give you the guidance that you need. And it may be worth you watching the videos for your moon and your rising to give you a better full picture of what's going on for you for the next month. And if you would like to book your own reading with me, all the details are in the description box below. You can catch me on live streams every week on YouTube, so be sure that you've subscribed and clicked that bell. And your weekly messages from your angels and your higher self are uploaded every Sunday, so watch out for those. See you next time. Bye.